You haven't said it out loud, you haven't written it down. It exists in your head and in your head only. Six, written on the face of one card. I still don't want you to tell me the name of the card. I just want you to freak out when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my name's Craig Petty and welcome to Visible. What we have here is an in-depth study into the invisible deck. You shuffled, you took any five cards, you all mixed up the order. We ended up in this order, and now when we spread out this deck, five cards are turned over. Ace of clubs, four of hearts, seven of spades, oh, ten of diamonds, oh, that's good. and the king of clubs. You're going to be learning routines that if you show them to a magician who knows about the invisible deck, they wouldn't even begin to think that an invisible deck was in play. The three cards that you've picked, I'm going to try and make them disappear from this deck, and I'm going to try and make them appear underneath your hands, Chris. But if I really did make those three cards go, they wouldn't be here in the deck, and they're not. Look, those face-down cards have gone. Instead of that, it's more of a case of, right, look, the cards have disappeared, hit them. Look, there's 13 cards there, hit them. Look, they're the three cards that you remembered, hit them. Lift up your hands. 11, 12, 13 cards. Three cards have appeared right there in between the 10. But if those three cards are the three cards that you picked, that's not a good trick, that's a miracle. Let's have a look. Two of clubs, seven of diamonds, and king of spades. I'm going to be teaching you how to do cards across, a completely self-working cards across. I'm going to be teaching you how to do uh, card revelations, predictions, triumph. I'm going to be teaching you so many different routines that you didn't even think was possible. And here's the really cool bit. Everything is super commercial. It's instantly reset. It's ready to go anytime, anywhere. And it is really, really easy. You're not going to believe this, but I said I wrote it on one card. Well, it's on the back of the five of clubs. Oh my God! <laughs> Please don't be limited. The concepts that I've talked to you about here are concepts. Future Craig is calling me. We're going to take things to an entirely new level. And at that moment, they completely freak out. And think about how strong it is. A freely chosen number is printed or written on a freely chosen playing card. I'm gonna teach you how you can unlock the power of the invisible deck. And to be clear, I need you to understand something. The way that you've been performing the invisible deck is only one thing that you can do with this. All of these cards have now sorted themselves out except for one card, one card and one card only. Right here, Pauline, what was the name of your card? Two of two. And these cards sorted themselves out all except for one card Pauline? <laughs> uh, and, and again, we talked earlier on about hooks. This whole hook of having a deck that's got a symbiotic relationship, it's a real hook that kind of gets people's attention. And you get the exact same five cards in the exact same order as the cards that they've just picked from the table, which is just incredible. It's just a beautiful moment. And they think the trick's over at this point, and you're now just going to kick him in the head. Check this out, because now, there's one card in between the aces. What was the card again? The Queen of Diamonds. It's kind of weird, oh, isn't it? What? <laughs> My name's Craig Petty, and this is Visible.